Hey everybody, welcome to this week's video. Just a quick update of the week. Um, Rabbi Mendel and I were at the convention at the beginning of the week. What a beautiful event. Uh, very moving, obviously very focused on what's going on in Israel. Sadly, we were missing about a thousand of our um, Israeli um, shluchim, Israeli rabbis that could not leave their community. But the banquet on Sunday was beautiful in that they had one simultaneously in Israel and we will be able to join together um, at the same time. It was really quite quite moving and quite beautiful. And then on Tuesday, Bela led 25 students to the rally in Washington. What an unbelievable event. 290,000 Jews. One man on the plane said to her on the way back, he said, you know, this is the first time in five weeks I've been seen and heard. 30,000 men put on tefillin. 50,000 um, Shabbos candle kits were given out to women. Unbelievable what those what went on at that event, at the rally. Really, truly inspiring and uplifting. I mean, God, please bring peace in the world and bring back the hostages alive and well. I want to share a little something on this week's Torah portion. So we have the famous story where y Yaakov takes the blessings. He, his mother, Rivka, says, Here, Yitzchak wants to give the blessings to Esav. Quick! Put on Asa's jacket, go get me a goat, and we'll get the blessings for you. And so he does that. And the famous question is, what is going on over here? If Yitzchak didn't understand what a bad person Asa was, Rivka should have gone to him and said, hey, you can't give it to Asa. Asa's a bad guy. You know, in the previous Parsha, um, where Sarah wants to kick out Yishmael, he says to Avram, get her out, get him out. And he doesn't want to, and he goes to, and God says, okay, listen to her. Could have done the same thing. Why the trickery? Why does he need to come dressed as Esav? So I heard an idea from Rabbi Jacobson, who says he heard it in the name of the Chidushi Harim, Rabbi Yitzchak Mei Alter, the first Rebbe of the Ger Hasidim. He explains as follows. You know, Rivka could have done that. She could have gone to Yitzchak and said, you know, Esav's not so righteous. Yaakov is righteous. Give him the blessings. And what would have Yaakov have gone? And he would have gotten ready and he would have prepared himself and he would have gotten the blessings from his father. She didn't want that. Rivka, the Jewish mother, wanted Yaakov to come dressed as Esav. He wa she wanted to make sure that those blessings, those amazing blessings from God through Yitzchak, would go to every Jew, even those that dress and feel like Esav. That every Jew, no matter who he is, no matter what condition, no matter what state they find themselves, even if they appear on the outside like an Esav, will be the recipient of those blessings. And I think you know, we've seen such an outpouring of identity, of pride, um, over the last few weeks. Sometimes it takes something really terrible to bring it out. But there is a Pintele Yid, that Jewish spark exists in each and every one of us. And even if someone doesn't look like the Yaakov, the Yaakov is in there. Under the coat, under the facade, under the externality is Yaakov. And every single one of us is the recipient of those blessings, which the Midrash tells us those blessings are. The blessings not only of the fat of the land, the dew of the heaven, but they also have a deeper meaning to be the Torah and the Mishnah and the, all the spiritual blessings that go along with it. One of our students said the rally in Washington was the greatest day of his life. He felt so connected, so inspired. I heard a story it took place at the rally. One of our um, rabbis there asked a gentleman to put on tefillin. He said he didn't want to. But he pressed him a little bit. Turned out he was his parents live in Israel and his father had died two days earlier and he was feeling very dejected so he said to him listen you know after listening to him a few, a few minutes he said well maybe you could say a prayer for your father so he put on tefillin and then he said wait a second let's say Kaddish they gathered a minion together and they said the Kaddish and then all the people assembled gave him the traditional mourner's blessing and embraced him he said he, he never felt so uplifted, so embraced, so loved like he did at that moment. Every single one of us is a Yaakov. 
even if we appear sometimes like we're wearing the coat of Esav. With that, I wish you Shabbat Shalom.